have a plan and follow it through. We'll show you how to set up camp in as little as 15 minutes. It's Jessica with Interstate Explorers and in today's video, we'll show you how to set up your RV campsite in eight tasks using the acronym ACTIVATE. First off is A for arrival, C, campsite check, T, tire chocks, I, inspect power, V, vehicle unhitch, A, adjust levelers, T, tanks, water and sewer, and E, engage slides and enjoy. Make sure you stick around until the end and we'll give you some tips for even faster setup. Step one, arrival. Once at the campsite, you'll need to park your rig by the office, go inside and check in. After that, you'll proceed to your site. Sometimes this will be guided by a golf cart and other times you'll be given a map and a number. Some sites will be back in and some will be pull through. As you arrive at your campsite, you'll want to be on the lookout for a few things. You'll want to check for unusual obstacles such as trees, tables, and chairs that may get into your way. And you want to check for your hookups. Hookups are usually near the driver's side, and we recommend that you get as close as possible to your sewer line because typically your sewer hose is going to be much shorter than your water hose and your power cable. Step 2. Campsite Check after you get into your site, you'll want to get out of your truck and check a few things before unhitching. You'll want to check that you're fully in your site. You cannot have any part of your rig sticking out into the street or in someone else's campsite. You'll want to check if you are close enough to your hookups that all of your connectors will reach. You'll want to check to make sure that your slides will be able to fully extend and to make sure that there's not a tree or any other obstacle in the way. If we think that it's close, then we get a tape measure out to check and verify. You'll want to check that your level. Some campsites will not have level parts and you may want to reposition yourself to become more level. And remember, once a tow vehicle is unhitched, then your rig isn't moving. So make sure that you are completely happy before you unhitch. Step 3. Tire Chocks now that you're happy with your rig placement, it's time to put down the very important tire chocks. We don't want the trailer running away when you unhitch, so tire chocks are going to prevent that. Step 4. Inspect power. Inspect the power by plugging in your surge protector and reading the readings. If there's an issue with the power, make sure to notify the office immediately. If there is no issue with the power, then you can go ahead and continue to plug in your power cable to the power pole and to your rig. This will start up the ACs and other electrical devices. This will be very important in hot weather so that your rig is a little bit cooler once you get inside. Step 5. Vehicle Unhitch First thing we'll do is we will lower our tailgate. For this trailer, we'll manually lower the front jacks and then use the electronic leveler to fully lower the front jacks to take the weight off the truck. Once there is a small gap between the hitch and the kingpin, that lets us know that the weight is off the truck. We're going to unplug the seven-way connector and disconnect the breakaway cable. Then we're going to remove the safety pin and open the jaws. We're going to carefully pull the tow vehicle forward to disengage the hitch. And once unhitched, we're going to pull away safely we're going to turn off our tow vehicle, and we're going to close that tailgate. Step 6. Adjust the levelers. This rig has an auto leveler, so we just press the auto leveler and let the rig do the work for us. If your unit does not have an auto leveler, then you'll need to purchase a leveler and manually do this process. Once we're done leveling, I'll pull down my stairs and I'll open the door. Step 7. Tanks. Water and sewer. I first start with the water, so I'm going to pull out my water hose and connect the water hose to the water filter and pressure regulator. Then I connect it to the city water hose spigot. After my connection is secure, I turn the water on and I need to make sure that the water is on the correct setting for the RV. Once I've done that, it's time to install the sewer hose. Very important that you put some gloves on before doing this because this could be potentially unsanitary. I start by taking the sewer hose cap off and then I take the hose out of storage. I first plug the sewer hose into the trailer and then I install it into the ground. I take my gloves off, I throw them away, 
I go inside, I wash my hands in case there are any sewer germs, just to make sure everything is sanitary. And our final step is step eight, engage slides and enjoy. Once inside, I can open my slides and it's time to enjoy. Go outside to close everything up, pull out any camp chairs, bikes, or anything else that you want to use. Check your tow vehicle for anything that you'll need. Grab a beverage from the fridge and relax. And if you've made it this far in the video, as promised, we have some even faster setup tips that you can use if you have a second person with you. So for the rest of this video, we're going to show you what Jessica does during setup to help speed things up. So first thing is during the unhitching, Jessica will sit in the driver's seat and she will pull the truck forward and park it after it's ready to be unhitched. Then after leveling, Jessica will start by grabbing our belongings from the truck and go inside the rig. Once inside the rig, she'll pull the slides out while I'm outside setting things up. And once the slides are out, she'll start setting up things on the insides, such as checking for any items that shifted during transit, disengaging the fridge lock, and starting to put things away and putting things in the fridge. If you found anything of value in this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Make sure you follow our steps for setting up so you'll spend less time setting up and more time enjoying the outdoors and keep exploring.